Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about the marketing and about Karg. Um, I was aware that uh, a lot of users in the community had a kind of feeling that Karg was not listening. Like they had so many questions, including me, about what will Karg do, when will the next firmware uh, update. There was uh, a hack and only uh, Mr. Bishi responded to it. And it was a kind of not so nice situation. So um, I have a kind of feeling that Karg just dropped that product. And I think compared to Roland, they put less energy in it. Uh, this is just how I personally feel this. So maybe they put maybe millions in it and Roland just uh, a ton. Who knows? But I think it's the other way around. And like they are less proud on it than Roland. And that's with Roland I mean the IRA range. And I talk about it later in a few seconds. Yeah. Oh, I start right now. Um, if you hear the name Roland, for the most people, Roland in the dance industry, the four by four on the four music. If you say Roland, you say tier 909, the tier 808, the TB303, uh, the Gino bassline from uh, for Can You Feel It, uh, the W30 sampler from. Uh, how is the band called? The Prodigy, you know? And uh, when you say core for me personally, and on one hand, I think the MS-10 and maybe some other synthesizers, but you know, not the T909. Like the, the, the this sounds and the, 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 the famous crash. Like, oh, everybody, this one. And, and if you go to... And, and the clips, you know that it, that's, uh, when you are in the club, you hear the sounds. Yeah, that's Roland. I I, I get the, the you know the shivers, the so cool. And Korg, yeah, it's a uh, synthesizer. But uh, I'm not hundred percent sure. Maybe there is uh, some cool synths Korg made. And I'm really, but more into in the. Oh, I I can be so wrong here. Yeah? I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. But for Korg it's more like the, the more the freaky synthesizers and sure they used in many tracks and um, I think more in the yeah how does it call uh, another genre of music not a bum 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 music from Roland so and the Electripe on the other hand has a, a kind of legacy but it just starts around 1999 I guess with the Electripe and they it was just a new product, kind of the same as other Groovebox in a way, but then better, different. So, um, and back to Roland. Yeah, the Roland, when I saw small things from the IRA series, like two years ago, I guess, maybe three, um, I got so excited. And I said it's all very personal because I didn't own an Electri before. Um, to go short, I used software till 2011, I guess. Then I got old groove boxes. Took me a long time to connect all the stuff together. And at the end, the sound quality, uh, quality was very low. So I bought Reason. I had a lot of fun with it. But as soon as I saw about the Electri, I thought, wow. It's a group box, but then with the quality of reason. So, and I'm still happy 